So this is Miss Prissy. Miss Prissy has hooves that are way, way too long. So we're trying to give her a trim today. And I just want you guys to notice we're not struggling with Miss Prissy. We just let her get to a point she lays down. When she lays down and gets comfortable, we go over and Walt's taking actually the horse clippers to her because they're really, really tough. And he's taking the horse hoof trimmers, trimming them up a little bit. We can only take off maybe, I don't know, an eighth inch to a quarter inch at a time. They're just so long and so, so hard. Uh, some people try to throw their pig, get them feet up. That stresses your pig out. When you stress your pig, chances are you're going to get a have a sick pig on your hand in a few days. They have a very sensitive system. And stress is one of the hardest things you can do to a pig. So we just rub her belly, talk to her. She'll go lay down again. And walk, walk over to a penny and show what she's done. We were checking Penny's hooves. Penny is the same age. She's a different breed. But you can rub her belly and she's just going to throw her leg right out to you. Yeah. Right there. Now this is the way a pig should do. Just get right under her her soft spot on her belly. Good girl. Oh, good girl. Yeah, that's the way a pig should do. If you look at her hooves, like I said, she's the same age as Prissy. And her hooves are fine. They're, they're healthy, the right length, and she's had the same amount of trims that Prissy has, which is zero in a year. You don't ever try to struggle with your pig. If you struggle with it, you're going to have stress, and then you're going to have a sick pig. So we're going to keep working on Miss Prissy. Okay. Let's get that one open. Good girl. Good girl. That's a good girl. You're fine. You're fine. You're a good girl. I know it. I know it. I know. You'll feel better when we get it off of there, baby girl. Yes, you will. You feel better. She's laying down for Walt again. He's going to come back around to the front of her and talk to her. She'll see the clippers. She's not afraid of them. There you go. You fix your toes. Uh, that up. See if we get a little off that dew claw. Snap. Good girl. Pop goes the toenail. And she's just fine with it. We're not hurting her. Yeah, you can take a little more. Yeah. Good girl. Okay, we'll call that enough until we get the hoof trim down a bit. Good girl. Good girl. If she decides she wants to get up and run, we're not going to try to hold her or anything. We'll just let her go. That's we can always good. come back to her. That's pretty good. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Fruity toenails. Yeah. I'm going to try to even up the other side just a little bit. Probably have to do this in a couple of days. So while we're doing it, we want to try to even both front hooves at least. Good picture here of the, the hole works. Yeah. Kind of show you a uh, not an easy task. Walt is using absolutely every ounce of strength he's got to get through those hooves. Let's give Reggie a call. She's taking it really well. Ah. 
See, now he's doing a little shaping. Nice day for a little pedicure there. Not a lot of wind blowing. You can use grinders on these, but the sound of the grinder will sometimes stress out your pig too. She's got an inside dew claw here. Let's try to take about a uh, quarter of an inch off that inside dew claw. Her dew claw should be right up next to her corona band, but we're not going to get it that short today. Okay, that's about as short as we're going to take that one. Yeah. She's a good girl. A good girl. Good girl. Try to take off this much right here of that one. You don't want to get it higher than her corona band, but on the inside there, maybe. Right about. Okay, that's much better. See if I can rub her tummy. She's not quite as prone to rolling over for a tummy rub as Penny is. Penny really likes tummy rub. Here's another look at Penny's hooves. Penny's are really, really nice, and that's all natural. She hasn't ever had a trim. And then you look at Prissy's. Prissy's are really bad. You can see right they're cracking pretty much right there in the center and that's how short we'll take those back ones off. get cooperation from a pig, you have to get them to lay down, hopefully go to sleep. Unfortunately, that's one of their favorite things to do. Laying down to sleep and eating. Those are their favorites. Okay, that's probably going to be as much as you want to take off of that one today. Doing really, really good. 
if you roll her over, she's gonna fall in the hole. <laughs> the other one's completely under her. We're not gonna get that. Trim the outside of this outside one. And if she starts to bleed, she'll bleed a lot, so. I don't think she'll bleed before that. Mm -hmm. Gone. That's nice. And it should kind of come to a point in the front. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what we get. <laughs> That's good. You can see a natural crack there where it's trying to crack off. Pretty good, old girl. Good girl. Oh, that's much better. Oh, that feels better, huh, girl? That feels so much better, and if you roll over to give us your other feet, you're going to fall in the hole. Maybe. Oh, no. She getting ready to lay down for us again. We just do a little bit at a time. If you stress them out, you're just creating additional work for yourself. There she goes. Now, if she'll just put these feet out. Good girl. Good girl. I'll just let her rest a little bit. After she gets nice and relaxed, we we'll want to go back to that other back hoof there. That's the only one we're just going to finish up a little on that back left foot. Get right up under her leg and her belly, that right there. That soft spot. Yeah, nice and relaxed. You can do it, girl. You're fine. The guineas are singing her a song. The guineas are always singing a song. <laughs> Did you find some piggy poo? Oh, just enough. <laughs> One of the joys of working in a pig pen. Yeah. Piggy poo. <laughs> what you got on your hands, Walt? You got piggy poo on your hands? Yeah, coffee grounds. <laughs> Take a little bit off of each side, and that way if we end up having to stop, they'll at least be even. And she pulled a little bit, but she didn't pull away. If she tries to pull away, we'll just let her get up. We're not going to fight her. Good girl. Good girl.
I want to keep going. That's the easy one. <laughs> yeah, but you keep going till you start a bleed, and then Dr. T will have to come in. Boy, that's thick. Yeah. Iggy Poo. She knew where to lay. Yeah. Like we said, if she starts fussing, we'll just let her up. You guys may have checked online and see some videos of people flipping their pigs on their back and the pig squealing the whole time. You can actually kill a pig whenever you put them into, under that much stress. They can just go into seizure right there. There's no sense in it. Another option is if you've got a high, high stress pig, you could feed them a can of beer, and that relaxes them quite a bit, but we haven't done that. I figure you don't need a drunk pig if you don't have to have a drunk pig. My luck could be a mean drunk. That's about enough on that side. Yeah, I just want to clean it up. Good, good, good. Well, we know where Bubbles will be eating tonight. Mm-hmm. Bubbles will come out here and clean up some pig hooves. Look right here. You can actually see where the pad is under here. Yeah. And you're kind of close to that pad. Come over here and look at it. You can see where the, the pad circles. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm right on it. That may be why she's tugging a little bit. Get down a little bit, yeah, a little lower on it. Maybe I better leave that. Yeah. Yeah, because you can see underneath there, there's a little oval where yeah. the pad is. She just she'll looks wear, a lot better. Wear them down now and smooth them off. Yeah. It looks a lot better. And all we did is let her relax and come back in if she's not relaxing. Let me see if I can get my camera to do this. Oh, camera. You just come right in here while they're relaxing and you rub their belly. They like to have their belly rubbed. And it just keeps them calm. 
and they'll offer you their foot. They don't have a problem with it. That's a good girl. Rubbed a belly. Rubbed a belly. <coughs> Rub your belly, they give you their foot. Yeah, that's a good one. And when they get up, you have to get up first because they're big. My oh, baby girl. They're big girls. Yeah, her got pretty toenails. Yeah. Her got pretty toenails. Much better. She was a good girl. She was a good girl. Yeah, you can go back to sleep now. She says thank you, Walt. <laughs>